while living in this post-industrialized world. Social inequality is an expression that seems distant to us. The truth is, social inequality is getting stronger and stronger, even though a lot of progress has been made since the dawn of civilization, inequality appears now as something more subtle and discreet. Social inequality can appear in different types, gender inequality, class inequality, racial and ethnic inequality, and age inequality. Now is the time to fight, to rise up and stop inequality, and everyone has the power to do it. If all of us do small actions to help those in need, then those small actions will become something big. The choice is in your hands. Do you want to live under the others, or be at the same level as them? It doesn't matter if I'm rich, if I'm poor, it doesn't matter if I'm old, if I'm new, if I'm a man, if I'm a woman or if I don't even know who I am. It doesn't matter where I come from or where I want to go. It doesn't matter who I love, be it a woman or a man. No matter my skin tone, my religion, my political party, it doesn't matter what traditions I have and my beliefs. It doesn't matter if I can't walk, if I can't hear, if I can't speak or if I can't see. Nothing really matters. We're all the same. We are all homo sapiens sapiens, we are all human beings, and we all have our own way to be. Being different doesn't take away my rights. I have the right to vote. I have the right to laugh and to cry. I have the right to have a family. I have a right to have an education. I have the right to have a home. I have the right to love and to be loved. I have the right to go to the street and express myself. I have the right to play. I have the right to wear whatever I want. I have the right to have friends. I have the right to work. It doesn't matter who I am. We're all the same. They can't take what's mine. They can't steal my rights from me. I have a right to be myself. I have a right to have rights. But above all, I have the right to be alive. I take water for granted. According to UNICEF, children in conflict areas are three times more likely to die from water-related diseases than violence, due to often compromised access to safe water. So why can't they take it for granted as well? I take having a home for granted. Habitat for Humanity estimated in 2015 that 1.6 billion people around the world live in inadequate shelter. Why can't they have a roof? I take hygiene for granted. The latest GMP report presents that in 2017 only 45 of the global population used a safely managed sanitation service. Why don't we have the same resources? I take education for granted. In several countries, in West and Central Africa, youth literacy rates remains less than 50%. But why does geography matter? I take health for granted. As stated by a Doctors for Health National Survey of Hospitals in Venezuela, as of March 2018, 88% of hospitals had reported shortages in medication and 79% in surgical supplies. Why do I have access to medication and they don't? I take the future for granted. According to the World Health Statistics 2019, 
One child in every 14 born in a low-income country will die before their fifth birthday. Why can I enjoy life while they can't even survive it? I take love for granted. In 2015, there were nearly 140 million orphans globally. Why don't they deserve a family? Let me just give you a small example of what we can do. If we have a colleague at school that lives in a difficult economic situation and has to travel for a long time to and from school and many times has to work at home before coming to school and after arriving home, we can always volunteer to help him or her with the notes we have or explain the subjects to him or her. If we have a colleague who doesn't have internet access at home, we can volunteer to help by doing research work with him or her. These are only small gestures, but with them, we can contribute to equality in the access to education. And because education is the basis of everything, we are certainly contributing to a social equality in the future and to a better world.